What's going on, everybody? I am your host this week for the Marvel League Podcast. Tis I, that boy Will, aka Will the Greatest, with me. I have the regular people <laughs> that consist of our boy Luke. Hey, what's poppin'? Uh, we also have Mikey. What a doski, everyone. Glad to be back here on the Marvelite. <laughs> and we have Nick, repping the West Coast. How's it going, everyone? The Disney Fox deal that hasn't fully gone through yet, but is still in negotiations. <clears throat> and just kind of potential options for down the road and uh, what what we could see and kind of how they could be done. I remember, Luke, you had talked about it last night. You want to... And he gives a little some little deets onto why you think they could incorporate some of these uh, some of these characters into our into our lovely little cinematic universe. I, I just have like hype because um, I don't know if you guys seen the report, but uh, coming from CNBC, they reported that a deal could be coming to a close um, as early as next week. Next week, dude! It's already the middle of this week, um, and I I just I I am like speechless. But yeah, pretty much I was. You know, kind of just throwing ideas around because there's been a lot of people who have been freaking out about it, you know, uh, you know, in a good way and in a bad way, because, you know, a lot of people have ideas of like, you know, it, you know, if if they get them back, are they going to just keep all the characters, you know, like as a subsidiary and have the studio separate, not in the same continuity? Nick, you pointed out that no, that's not going to happen because one, Disney is paying $60 billion. <laughs> There's no way that they're going to not let that happen. Kevin Feige wants it. The fans have been asking for it, like begging them for it for years. The Simpsons predicted it, apparently. They're, they got this one right, too. If any of you guys out there think that Disney and Marvel are going to let those characters be separate, you are solely mistaken. At least not all of them. Maybe a handful, but... Not everybody. <laughs> there's so many. There's so many different ways that you could spin it. I mean, I I don't know what they have planned out for Phase Four. Um, you know, like they've obviously have a plan, but you know, ju just like for Phase Three, when they first announced Phase Three back in 2014, it was going to be way different than what. Remember, I, Thor was remember, in the spot that Spider Man was in, so they moved that. Remember, back. Serpent Society. Well, no, they they not only changed um, dates around, but they just kind of changed the narrative because it was uh, oh, according also, to Feige, humans was a movie too for Phase Three. According, yeah, it was according to Feige. Well, that was all Perlmutter. Apparently, Kevin Feige didn't want to do Inhumans, at least not in Phase Three, um, because you know they were in the they show. were in talks for with Sony for Spider Man. So uh, Perlmutter wanted to dethrone Fox, right? Uh, Pearl Mutter was like, no, we need to push the Inhumans. They're going to be our X Men in this universe. <laughs> and it's uh, like, okay, believe what you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dude, but we're getting so, the real X Men and Fantastic Four, though. Exactly. So fuck Pearl Mutter. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been saying. We're gonna get all the villains: agree, Galactus, Annihilus, Kang, Doom. So yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for Phase Three, the the narrative changed dramatically. They really, after Pearl Mutter left the studio. Feige was able to then do whatever the hell he wanted, and I think that the MCU is, is better off for it. Um, so I think that, you know, whatever they have planned now for Phase 4 is really is going to be subject to change here in the near future. And I think it's going to be drastically different from whatever ideas or plans that they have. Or, you know, I, I don't know if they have storyboards already for Phase 4, which I'm assuming they probably at least have some concept art. Um, and, and, and ideas. Yeah, they already you know have I mean. concept art for X Men and Fantastic Four drafted. Here's a little secret: they've had those for like five years now. Yeah, dude, they've, they've been plotting and scheming on this one. Oh them. yeah, they've been sitting on this one for a long time. <laughs> I mean, right now is the perfect time. I mean, they, all their Phase Four plans. They said they oh we have twenty something movies. Right when they make this deal happen, if it happens next week, it's this perfect time. They already finished Phase uh, Infinity War. They're are they done F filming Avengers Four? No, they're still they're still filming. A lot of people um, commented on one of my videos saying that they could shoot something for Avengers. Where I'm like, they're probably not because the script's already no, done. And, well, no, they could. Well, no, no, I'm no, saying they, they can do a they, post credit scene. I don't mean no, like in the middle of the movie. No, that's what Will, I was referring Will, to. No, that's where you're mistaken, Will. See, <laughs> that is where you're really actually. I I will say, Will, you are mistaken on this because you want reshoots it, in this it, shit it, like more no, than usual. One, one, one reshoots. Okay. I know those, they're normal. Are common. Yes, are, they are. All right. They're very <laughs> scripts, common. <laughs> scripts have literally been uh, written on the fly, like the day yeah, they're like shooting Justice before. Like yeah, Deadpool did that. 
like uh they they will literally change shit as 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 quickly as they can and sometimes it it turns out really well and you don't you don't have to like shove them in but you can you can change scenes around scenes that aren't going to cost a lot scenes that you don't have to add special effects for just narrative scenes um explaining or doing some kind of setup alluding to yeah uh, these fox characters that's all you have to do I you don't have to I even think feige is setting it up for phase four to be like or um the end of phase three to be kind of focused on the ones we have now i'm not now saying I'm they thinking, won't allude to it but I don't, i'm thinking oh, i'm I don't, sorry go ahead i'm just saying that I, I think it would be something that they would do as like an after credit scene i don't think they would do it to it'd be like because i know one of the rumors of it is like thanos ends like ends up taking over the world and like strange or someone sends him back in time to change it or whatever like that's one of the rumors that's flowing around i'm like i don't think they're gonna send it back and then suddenly we get to the future and we have mutants like i don't I think, think that's it's gonna what be they're a, gonna do to be honest yeah i don't I think, think it's gonna be a, a massive change like that yet i'm saying that's a way they could do it but i don't think they're gonna do that big of a change for the script i think they have a plan and I, they probably do have multiple scripts but I think since I'm, they're in the middle of production, I think they're sticking with what they have. I'm willing and to put adding stuff into it. Yeah, I'm willing to put money right now for the post credit scene on Avengers Four is going to be Galactus and Silver Surfer. I'd say it'd be um, Reed Richards buying the Baxter Building. Uh, that could be a possibility. I mean, not the Baxter Building, the Avengers Tower, and making it the Baxter Building. Right, right. I mean, that's a possibility. Um, who knows? But <laughs> it'd be funny if it was like uh, either Victor way. I still think I still think that um, Phase Four they're going to be more cosmic. So I feel like the Fantastic mm-hmm. Four is going to be the new placeholder for the Avengers. With I think you know a, a lot of these characters' contracts are running out. But I think honestly, like Black Panther, Captain Marvel, uh, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, those are going to continue on with sequels. And so you could have crossovers with them, Fantastic Four, and set up the X Men also as as well. Those would probably honestly be the like you know like the new placeholder for the Avengers, um, mm-hmm. and so like yeah, I, I'm thinking like phase by by like by the time you hit the end of phase four for a big team up, it's going to be an FF, X Men, Spider Man, and then like some of the newer Avengers like Captain Marvel, Black Panther. Doctor honestly, I, by like at the earliest, if they decide to start putting these other characters into the universe. I can see maybe in like 2021 we would get an X Men reboot. Yeah, because we have because remember we have those three unlisted movies set. Now there, um, the only two we have confirmed are Homecoming two and Guardians three, but those I don't think those are the ones that they had listed on that docket from way back from like 2015 or whatever. Yeah, because remember they confirmed movies years ago. They're still early enough in shooting Avengers four. Honestly, they. They could really work something in if they if they really wanted to. I think you have it, to. I think they're waiting deal, for the deals to finalize first before they, they are. They are, but, but it wouldn't they have surprise me. They it wouldn't surprise me, Will and everyone else, if they have already changed scenes from the script, mm. just in case, just so they would have it ready to go like right away. Well, Feige is on set, so it's not like they wouldn't have a direct like line to it. I think, honestly, they're just sitting back and waiting, but, you know, I think they're hoping for the best on this one, you know what I mean? And it's really good to be prepared for a situation like this, because this is huge. This is absolutely huge, and I think they know this, too, and I think what a perfect way to end, to round out your culmination um, with including those characters, and I think that it is a dream, personally, of Feige's, so... Uh, Dude, yeah, because we talked about it last week, is that he said um, Marvel doesn't feel like whole until everybody's there. <laughs> exactly. And it's exactly. like they've they've been pl- and um and the other thing we were talking about is kind of what this means for um Sony. This kind of really pressures them into a corner cuz they don't have that much left with Marvel having essentially the majority of their like stuff back. They have everything. They have Batman. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That was, which is that shit is hilarious because they they now have the TV rights to Batman. <laughs> so as Nick would say, as Nick had said before, Batman, Agent of Shield. Uh, Dang. The, we, you can't put him in the MCU, but you can put him in the TV universe. 